Hello, my name is Jeff and I'm from Pennsylvania. I joined the Republican Party just a few years ago and I guess many people would think it was because of Donald Trump, but they would be wrong. I had been a lifelong Democrat, but I always voted for those whom I believed to be the best possible candidate based upon their platform and programs, regardless of party. I am also a Catholic, having converted from the Lutheran faith in which I was raised. I joined the Republican Party because it became evident that someone who believes in the sanctity of life is not welcome among the ranks of the Democrats. Their party platform makes it crystal clear. And it is exactly this firm belief in the human dignity of all persons from the moment of conception to natural death that will never allow me to support Donald Trump. Being pro-life is not just about working to end the horrors of abortion. Indeed, the most vocal critics of pro-life supporters love to harp on our alleged unwillingness to care about the person that baby grows up to become. And sadly, in the case of Donald J. Trump, they are right on target. The terrible abuse against the human dignity of immigrants, children being forcibly separated from their parents, neglectful deaths in the camps, is just one example of how little he cares. But the list goes on and on. His well-publicized words and actions against women, from disgusting insults to outright abuse, effectively eliminates half of the human race from being of value to Trump. His dismemberment of regulations to protect the environment clearly shows he's not interested in protecting a world that will be habitable for our children and grandchildren. Trump's determination to amputate the legs of health care programs that are designed to help people with the greatest need shows his true colors. And now, the Trump administration's cluelessly uncoordinated attempt to attack the pandemic and his refusal to follow advice from medical and scientific experts have cost nearly 100,000 American lives. Trump is a lot of things, but pro-life is not on the list. And let's be honest, his appointment of conservative justices and his executive actions around pro-life are nothing more than overtures to a segment of the base he needs to remain in power. That base is unwilling to look past the mask that Trump does indeed wear. My faith calls upon me to see the face of Jesus in the face of everyone I meet. Everyone, without exception. And I am called to help, to be merciful, to be pro-life. I know there are many people who will vote based solely on their pro-life values. I would ask them to please pray hard about what it means to truly be pro-life, pro-life for all stages of life. I would urge them not to compromise their values, because values matter.